A relationship is defined as the way in which two or more people or groups regard and behave towards each other. It can be between two people, a group of people, or people and things or animals. You have a relationship with your car, your house, your pet, a colleague, your boss, your parents, siblings, kids, and a spouse. Humans are expected to maintain a good relationship with your creator God, just like every other thing has a relationship with its creator. For example, a fish was made from water, so it needs to maintain a relationship with its creator. If not, it will die. That is why if a fish is taken out of water, it dies. Plants also need to remain connected to their source, the ground, or else they will die. Relationships are very important in life, but a lot of people tend to fail at maintaining them due to mistakes that could have been avoided. If only we were willing to work at it, as much as we work when it comes to other things in our lives like school, work, food, or pets, or even our phones. Our life is largely influenced by the relationship we keep. You look like the company you keep. Our happiness is enhanced by the presence of healthy and close relationships in our lives. Most interpersonal relationships fail due to a number of causes that if detected earlier would have been averted. Today we are going to look at a few of the most common mistakes people make in a relationship in no particular order. The first on our list is the tendency of taking the other person for granted. As relationships mature, there is always a tendency to begin to neglect a lot of things we did or we paid attention to at the beginning. Sometimes it is normal but however sometimes it won't hurt to just reflect on how the person must have changed your life or been of use to you. Just take our time to figure out how different your entire life, well-being and your everyday existence would have been without the person in your life and that might help you to put in some extra effort or to go an extra step to prove to that person that you care, that you are concerned, or that you are interested in their life. A lot of times we disregard people because we believe they will always be present. People also get fed up when being treated like trash. If you keep taking someone's love and care for granted, someday they will get tired of taking it and leave and go to those who are willing to provide them with the attention that they are not getting from you. So be careful how you treat the people in your life. Complaining about your partner to everyone else except your partner is another very common mistake people make in relationships. There is always a tendency when your partner messes up or begins to act strangely to turn to the next available ear for sharing. We sometimes think it helps us calm down and deal with the situation much later when temperatures are all calmed. But firstly, it's not so good because talking to other people about the issues in your relationship is the same as you leaking out your partner's secrets and that is a bad lining in any relationship. Letting others into your partner's private life, even if it seems perfectly harmless, can hurt your partner's feelings of trust in you and in your relationship. If your partner finds out, he or she will feel so betrayed or even humiliated. Besides that, talking about your partner to everyone except them will be bad in the sense that you are not telling them directly what is bothering you. And it's unlikely that your partner would know that you'd like to see some changes made in his or her behavior if you don't just say something. They would never know you may have been hurt by their actions towards you or how you felt about your behavior. Another fact about not talking to your partner is that constantly focusing on what's bothering you, it will be harder for you to see the good in your partner. You would always see what you want to see in people. So if you focus on the good, you would see lots of good things about them. But if you focus on the bad, you sure would see a lot of bad things about them. Instead of always running to friends and family with the problems you are facing in your relationship, communicate with your partner when something isn't right and walk through it before you vent to your friends or maybe even family. Fix the problem at its root and build a better relationship instead of focusing on the negative in your partner's life. People get into relationship without setting clear and strict boundaries for the relationship. Determine what you want out of a relationship and set boundaries accordingly. Be upfront with your date or significant order on what you're comfortable with and what you want out of your dating life. Have a list of non-negotiables when it comes to traits in a life partner like sense of humor, loyalty and compassion. And hey, don't settle for less. 
your love life will be so much better when you know what you want a relationship to be. If you know that there is something you won't be comfortable with in the future, it's better to make that straight from day one. This is because whatever you accept today, you may have to live with as long as the relationship lasts. Forever is a long time to endure certain things. Expectations are another serious factor. This is one really serious mistake people make in a relationship. People always expect their partners to be everything. No human is perfect. No man or woman would ever tick every box in your wish list. You also don't want to overwork someone like that. Nobody can be everything for you. It's too much work and there is too much energy needed for that. Instead of being over demanding to one person, it's better to build a community of people that meet your needs. Surround yourself with people with whom you will have all the fun needed in your life such that in case you might want to go exercising and your partner isn't down for that, you still will be able to go with someone. Do not sacrifice your happiness just because your partner isn't in the mood to do that with you. When you are getting into a new relationship, first of all, get to know yourself. Know what you like, know what to dislike. Know your strengths and your weaknesses. Know what you can handle and what you can't. Make sure to figure out what you want out of life so as to make yourself better and your partner better. Relationship is serious work. Relationship is a very serious work and you should be willing to invest a lot into it for it to flourish and grow stronger. You would need to invest so much time, energy and emotional affection. A little extra effort will make your relationships better and grow stronger. Some of the problems in relationship can be avoided with a little more work and wisdom. I needed to read James chapter 1 verse 5 for further insight. The Lord bless you.